welcome back. Welcome from beautiful municipal park in Amposta. Today I want to talk a bit more about a summary of nine months that I've already been here in Spain and how do I find it. This is like the first summer I'm spending the whole season here. I moved to Catalonia back in October 2020 in a little window where we didn't have any lockdowns going on so I jumped on that opportunity with my boyfriend and he wanted to gain his residency on old rules the European way instead of moving after December when Brexit happened. Our move was a bit quicker than we expected but we decided to go for it anyway and now here we are still strong and still going building the house a year before moving we bought a tiny house which i will explain a bit more as a building because it doesn't have any media it just have walls we are currently restoring the windows and soon we'll be building a door so pretty much a closed cube that we want to call our home as soon as possible and instead of working in London and you know putting money into it, paying someone else to do it for us, we decided, okay, we move here now, we try to figure out how to make money, and that way we can build the house ourselves, probably saving quite a bit of money. Because it seems like contractors, like builder building contractors in Spain they are quite expensive and if they know that you are an expat then obviously you get a different rate for not knowing the language for just generally being from abroad it definitely um, changes the way you speak to each other so one of the first hurdles I experienced is the language barrier because I do speak a bit of Spanish but if you have to sort out very like official documents have let's say business conversations or go to the bank all that stuff this is uh, essential this is really really crucial if you're moving to Spain to start learning the language as soon as possible because English is really not widely spoken unless it's a very touristy place so to be you know to become a better better neighbor to people who already live in place you're looking to move to you speak the language because Spanish people are really friendly Spanish itself is really beautiful and it's very useful language as well because there's so many other countries speaking and using it in a bit of like variations but in general you'll be able to communicate with a lot of people if you like to travel this is gonna be a great addition to your usual you know daily life languages are the best skill to have this this is my personal opinion if you agree great if not then let me know why i can't see why another thing is that bureaucracy here in spain it's um it's a big thing my journey as an entrepreneur self-employed person is that i had self-employed companies in Poland, UK and Spain and if I was to compare them UK wins all the way it's such a fair system you have a lot of um, tax-free allowance so you know you can earn some money but you don't have to pay tax on all of it while both Spain and Poland not only for taxes but also for social security uh, you have to pay regardless if you're making money or not. In Poland and in Spain it works pretty much the same way. So you have reduced rate for a first year or two and then you go to the full blown rates which are quite high and knowing that situations like you know a pandemic might happen the government doesn't really supply you with a lot of support and I know from some other people um, that were self-employed in the UK that actually they've been given a lot of money when their business was really affected by 
the panoramic. So this is a very important factor. So here, this is like a fixed cost every month. To get residency, you need to have a work contract or be self-employed, to have some sort of income to prove that you'll be able to support yourself and not be a burden to the system. So they really don't you know, make it easy for you. You have to prove, okay, so I signed up, I'm paying the taxes and I'm paying the social security and then can you make me a resident? It's not just given away like, you know, free chips. Everything works so much slower compared to, to the UK and everything is very non-digital. So I'm really used to being able to open a company online without having to go anywhere or do anything. Everything is delivered by mail. You forget that it actually can be hard and you, when you move to a place like Spain all of a sudden you realize oh my god this is hard this is annoying frustrating or whatever but once it's done you kind of you know there are things that you have to go through just once setting up a bank account getting NIE number getting your driving license exchanged getting social security number and signing up for healthcare getting your healthcare card getting your residency this is as basic as it gets but if you have let's say some other things you want to transfer from other countries like a pension or some sort of insurance then obviously the list will be longer what i enjoy about being here is the summer starts so much earlier and even throughout the winter you still get sunny days pretty much most of the year so i've been enjoying that a lot but in the summer it gets really heated and quite challenging to deal with the temperatures where i am based in catalonia we are getting to kind of mid 30s now in july that's why your life cycle is a bit different it's not only because of the temperature but also business hours what tends to happen is that a lot of shops close for a gap between one to three one to four so-called siesta because I don't know why, big shops like Leroy Merlin, Mercadona, some other big businesses, this is not a problem, they open all day long. That kind of might affect the way you plan your day. How my life changed, because I also moved from being an employee to being self-employed, is that you have to plan your day around these hours to accommodate that. What I tend to do is to wake up really early to make the most of the time that is still not too hot and then having these couple of hours where you could just chill have some lunch have some rest what i think a lot of people don't realize about spanish is that actually they really work a lot it's not you know we we all laugh like mañana that it's gonna happen sometime in the future but you can't be sure but actually think about it if someone starts work it from like eight to one and then from three to six or seven this is a really long work day and i think being an employee here it's, it is quite tough let's say if you work far away from home what are you gonna do with these two or three hours with not being able to you know sit down be comfortable you're just kind of lost for, for quite a while during the day another thing that's just location dependent is I really love that I do have access to the mountains and also to the beach and sand all in very small distance apart so when you are in London to get to the sea it takes a fair amount of time a train journey all that stuff but here nature is surrounding you and sometimes it's a really tough nature but at the same time you learn to respect it and appreciate it and make the most of it when you know not waiting for the weekend when it might be cloudy but making the most during the week and let's say so often i just work and it's saturday sunday i don't really care because this is not the way my life is now i don't have you know monday to friday fixed time it's just i'm 
chasing the opportunity whatever time it happens. This is what I came here for, to work less, earn less, but have more time to actually enjoy the way life is and be more chill, not worried. I don't really have much costs of living. I have to, you know, maintain my car, maintain myself and feed myself. So this is much less than paying a rent in London and having to juggle all these things around. Public transport is so expensive. Like, let's say I had a motorbike, so the motorbike insurance and then, you know, worrying about it being stolen all the time. Here, you can pretty much leave everything outside and no one will touch it. So this is a really good mental comfort, just the way things and people are. Being away from the city, living calmly, just having your local bar, local cafe, knowing who is gonna be there every damn day. What are my goals for the next couple of months? is that I really want to start living in the house properly with, you know, all the appliances, toilet, proper shower and, you know, good door and make the build turn a building into a home. So uh, we, with my boyfriend, currently work on a couple of DIY projects for other people. So let's say we paint or we fix something or we build something or we replace things or we build stuff from wood because my boyfriend can do carpentry so this is like a lot of, for me to to learn where to get all the supplies paint brushes i don't know some crazy stuff but it's really enjoyable because it's like instant it's not like you have kpi and it's going to be reviewed in three months this was draining me in london so much that I really don't have control over what I'm doing but here I can decide okay I want to work with you but I feel like we're not a good fit so if you can find someone else I'm just wishing you good luck some people just feels like this is not gonna be good relationship to continue and then we just cut it off say goodbye you know stay smiley and not do anything with them again this is much better I really I never did these kind of jobs even in London. I know it's a good opportunity and good industry to be in back in London, but at the same time, I didn't have an opportunity. So maybe I would enjoy it over there as well. But here, mainly we do work with expats and it is kind of picking up pretty much immediately. We started getting booked over. So we have to plan when are we doing what kind of job because it requires gathering materials, you know, transport, knowing where we're gonna stay. So all these things, they are really good for my brain because I studied logistics, I like to plan things and I can use these skills here now and, you know, make it work for us. So all the projects that we're doing, we pretty much, most of the money we're just spending on building the house, getting the tools, because we're gonna continue with that work. This seems to be something that worked for us. So we started to getting some traction and getting some money so i'm so happy that the like winter and spring season is over and in the summer we are actually blooming like you know all the plants around us and we are able to make a living out of something with like our hands so today let's say i just came back from three hour cleaning i'm doing for a retired couple they live very close to where we are and every week I'm coming to their house for three hours and I'm, you know, doing the cleaning. They're really happy. I'm really happy. It's always such a nice atmosphere. And, you know, like, why do we have to demonize uh, manual work? It's, it's honest work. And it's not like, you know, you, you're taking advantage of someone. Thank you very much for being with me for so long. And I really appreciate it. If you liked me, subscribe, hit the like button and if you have any very specific questions about living in Spain or how to set up certain things or how did I do, I don't know, start my vintage business, how do I keep it going, just ask me in the comments because I'm currently looking for some more ideas for the videos and I really want to make it work. I want vlogging to be my profession. Ciao!